Hello and welcome to Irish Cuisine videos. Today we're going to be learning how to make Ireland's national dish, bacon and cabbage. So the first step to make bacon and cabbage is affect the bacon into a big pot and then we're going to boil the absolute bollocks out of that for about an hour and a half. And after boiling the absolute fuck out of that bacon, it's looking class, now it's time to add the cabbage. There's the cabbage there now, I'm after cleaning her up, she's looking gorgeous. And I'm just going to cut this up now and fire it in on top of the bacon and boil the absolute bollocks out of it. There's the cabbage gone in there now, looking absolutely lovely. It's just a waiting game at this stage, just that I'd take a video of me with it while it's cooking. Just in case people accuse me of hiring in a chef, I did make this myself. As he told. There's the spuds now there cooking, the old potatoes. Um, we boil them now as well. Work now keeping an eye on it all, but the results will be well worth it, wait till you see. Now, did I boil the spuds too much? I probably did. But life is ups and downs, and so is bacon and cabbage. I'm going to mash up the potatoes with the flavour enhancements. Um, I'm going to tell you what I put in the potatoes, but I'm not going to tell you the sacred ratios that I use. To be honest with you, if you paid me a million euro for that information, you'd be scamming me. That's the level I'm operating at. So we're going to use some real butter, a bit of curry gold there. A bit of nice dropping of milk as well into it. Why not? We're going to have some black pepper, of course. We're going to have some salt, uh, which is over there. And we're going to have some onion salt. That's the secret sauce there. That's what you're tasting. It's like, did you put onions in them? I didn't, actually. Onion salt. Okay, so I'm just mashing the fuck out of the spuds now. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm starting to get a bit worried that I shouldn't have told everyone about the onion salt. I think I gave too much away. Now it's time to plate up our delicious meal. We'll start off here with the spuds. So we're going to just elegantly place them over here on the corner of the plate. Another little small bit there. And probably another, yeah, but sure, look, we're, sure we're eating. Sure, we'll fire a load of them on there. That's it there now. Fine portion of the spuds. Finally, a nice big fucking wedge. Oh, sorry now. Nice big wedge of the bacon. Sure you're hungry. And there she is now. Absolutely gorgeous. In modern times, a lot of people would team that up with a nice parsley sauce. Who do you think you are? Cuisine de France. It's far from parsley sauce you were raised. I'll show you what you do now, the traditional way. What you do is, you take a nice little bit of that cabbage water there, full of flavours that's full of. This is for people who were raised right now, sorry if you were raised wrong. And you just put a little bit, just a tiny bit, you don't want to make it soggy, but just a little bit there. That's apps. That's the best flavour now you'll taste. There it is, in all its glory, bacon and cabbage. I'd say it's probably time for us to have a little taste of that. Let's have a go. A little bit of everything on the fork here now for the full cultural experience. Looks absolutely glorious. If you don't like how that looks now, it won't fucking kill you. Get it into you. Amazing. That's how flavours are supposed to taste. Follow me. I'm delicious.